While barbells get a lot of the attention because of how much weight you can load onto one, kettlebells are beasts in and of themselves because of the time under tension, as well as the different angles that you can hit. If you're looking to turn up the heat in the weight room or in your home, look no further than a good old kettlebell. I was able to get my hands on one of the most popular models from Rogue. So today, I'm gonna break down my findings for you guys, but enough with all the chit chat, let's get straight to it. What's up everybody, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and for today's video, I have a Rogue kettlebell. In this review, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about these kettlebells from the price and some of the features, as well as the pros and cons you'll experience while working out with them. And of course, what would I be doing if I didn't include who should or should not buy one of these? Now, before I get really started though, I gotta let you know, we've reviewed a lot of kettlebells on barbin.com. And if you wanna browse our best list, just go ahead and search Barbin Best Kettlebells, and you can find out for yourself which ones we like the best. Okay, so let's talk about what I like about these kettlebells. Well, with all gym equipment, texture matters, right? Well, that's something that Rogue has got going on here with these kettlebells. The powder coat gives it a really nice feel. It gives you a really good grip on its own. It's also gonna mix well with chalk if that's something you like to use. And it's not too rough on your skin, which is a really nice touch too. This is one single piece of iron ore. So there's no welding here to hold the bell and the handle together. There's no plastic caps or plugs. None of that that you'll find often with kettlebells of lesser quality. So this is really durable. It's gonna last you a really long time. You don't have to worry about the connection with the handle and the bell ever coming loose. The handle right here, 1.4 inches in diameter. It's gonna give you a nice solid grip. I really like how they're color coded. That's pretty common, but this blue right here really pops out in my eyes, which is really nice. Also really like the flat base design. There's no seams, there's no ridges, there's nothing down here interfering with the kettlebell and whatever surface you go to store yours on. So shouldn't experience much wobble, if any, whatsoever. Plus there's 18 different weight options for you to choose from. Now those are gonna range from nine pounds up to 203 pounds. That's in non-intervals. So it's gonna vary you know, from bell to bell and the, the gap and the weight but there really is an option out there for basically everyone to choose from. Okay, so what about those cons that I noticed with these kettlebells? I know I mentioned this one right here does have color-coded handle, as you can see, but you know, once you get past 88 pounds, there's not a specific color for each weight option. So if you're somebody who's strong enough to lift all of that weight, you might have a little bit of difficulty because you know once again there's not a specific color for each weight option so that'd be an area of improvement i guess you could say with these kettlebells they're also not uniform in size okay so this 26 pound bell it's great size for basically every single workout you'd want to do with it but as you go up in weight the size is also going to increase so if you know uniform size kettlebells are what you're looking for then i'd suggest just going to get yourself some competition kettlebells and you know, these really aren't cheap. I'm gonna dig into price here in just a second, don't worry, but you can definitely find some cheaper ones out there. But remember, when it comes to a high quality product such as this, you know, you're paying for that high quality, which I have found to be true with these kettlebells. And I think you will as well. And you know, it's gonna wind up being worth it in the long run. You know, that high quality for that high price tag is something that we really preach about a lot. Okay, so let's talk about the money now and what you can expect to spend on one of these Rogue kettlebells. So as I mentioned, you can choose from nine pounds up to 203 pounds. And as you probably can assume, that nine pound kettlebell is gonna be your cheapest option, right around $35. This 26 pound bell is around 60 bucks. And that 203 pound kettlebell, well, that's around $320. Now, your total is gonna change based off shipping and taxes. It's gonna vary on how fast you want it, but also which weight you decide to go with. So for example, if you went with this 26 pound kettlebell, you know, you're gonna have to pay an extra $25. That's not that bad. But 
if you went with that 203 pound kettlebell, well, shipping alone is gonna cost you around 170 bucks and then tack on an additional $45 or so in taxes, you're looking at spending over $500 on one single kettlebell. Now, that's definitely not cheap. You, know, you can obviously find some cheaper ones out there. Those might not last you as long, but you, know, you could always go and find yourself an adjustable kettlebell system, or maybe even a kettle grip attachment, which Rogue actually offers one of those. And that basically will transform any existing dumbbells you have into a kettlebell but that's probably not as good as the real thing. Now, at the end of the day, I mean, <laughs> these kettlebells, the quality, it's top tier, meaning they should last you for a very long time. Okay, so let's talk about the build now with these kettlebells. As I said, you know, they're not uniform in size, so the overall size of each bell is gonna increase. But for now, let's just focus on the handle diameter. Okay, so the nine to 18 pound bells have a 1.2 inch handle diameter. This 26 pound kettlebell, well, this handle diameter is 1.4 inches. The 35 to 88 pound bells, those have a handle of 1.5 inches in diameter. And the 97 to 203 have a 1.58 inch handle diameter. Okay, so I really like the color coding here on these handles. Yeah, it's pretty common in most kettlebells. But I will say it pops out more, in my opinion, than some other kettlebells I've used. So that's really nice too. You know, that blue really contrasts with this matte black powder coat, really nice. And sticking with the powder coat, you know, this gives you a really nice feel. It's got a really good grip on its own. It's also gonna mix well with some chalk too, if that's something that you wanna use. I really like the flat base design right here. You know, there's no seams, there's no ridges, there's nothing that's gonna interfere with the kettlebell and whatever surface you go to store it on. And that's really nice too. It's just gonna make it really sturdy. And these are super durable, okay? So it's one single piece of iron ore. Like I said, there's no plastic caps or plugs. There's no welding with the handle and the bell itself. So you don't have to worry about that bell flying across the room mid swing, you know, that's something, something that you're not gonna have to worry about here with these kettlebells. So that's really nice too, because they're gonna last you a really long time. Okay, so let's talk about the features now with these kettlebells. Once again, you know, they do range from nine pounds up to 203 pounds, but for the sake of this video, we've got the 26 pound kettlebell. All right, so the handle right here is 1.4 inches in diameter. It's the only kettlebell that features that diameter, just something worth remembering here. And I really like this color coding, you know, it's really common, yeah, with kettlebells, but I don't think it's very common that they always pop out at you like this does, which is really nice to me. It makes it super easy to just see like, oh, blue, that, you know, that is the 26 pound kettlebell, makes it really easily done. But you know, you also have your kilograms and pounds, you know, engraved on the back side, which is a nice touch for you. Just a little security blanket, I guess you could say, just to make sure you do in fact have the correct weight you're looking for. And I already talked about it. I'm gonna talk about it right now. I'm gonna talk about it again here in a minute, I'm sure. I really like this flat base. It makes it super easy to store. You know, this isn't coated in rubber. There's nothing that's gonna interfere with the kettlebell and whatever surface you gotta store it on. So it's just gonna make it really easy to store it if you don't have a storage rack because those can tend to be pretty expensive. So you can easily, you know, set this on the ground in the corner of your room or on a shelf, really whatever you need to do. All right, my people, let's do a quick walk around with this kettlebell. Once again, this is the 26 pound bell from Rogue. So the handle is 1.4 inches in diameter, and this is the only one that has that specific diameter. Okay, so at the base right here, nice and wide, you can easily fit two hands right here, do any style two-handed grip if you choose to do so. Color coding is also right here. Blue means this is 26 pounds. But if you flip it around on the back, you'll see both kilograms and pounds right there. So that's really nice too. The flat base right here is super nice. Makes storage really easy. There's no seams, there's no ridges, there's nothing in the way. And you know, in terms of seams, same goes for the handle and the bell. They're not welded together because they're one solid piece of iron. And you can see that up close. There's nothing here, you can feel it. I mean, there, it's one big piece right here. I really like the powder coat as well. It looks good, gives it that nice matte black finish. It, like I said, it just looks good. But 
you get a really solid grip from it on its own and it does work well with chalk too if you care to use so so that's really nice too a little bit of versatility all right so who should purchase the rogue kettlebells well since this is one single piece of iron ore i think you're really going to enjoy the durability of these kettlebells since they're going to last you essentially a lifetime unless you do something crazy and somehow some way find a way to break it this is going to be around for the long haul and you know the powder coat here it makes it look good it's going to look good in your gym but really the importance of it is the texture and the grip that it provides it gives you a pretty good grip on its own but it's also going to mix well with chalk you know so if you want to use chalk you definitely can do so with these kettlebells and once again you know there's just so many options for you to choose from from nine pounds up to 203 pounds so i mean really there's just an option out there for everybody to pick from okay so what about the people who might not want to purchase these kettlebells well if your kettlebell is being uniform in size it's something that's really important to you you know you're not going to get that here and if that is the case then i would definitely suggest finding yourself some competition kettlebells because those are in fact all the same size if you're wanting your kettlebell to be coated in rubber, you know, that's not something you're gonna find here. That technically does increase the chances of causing damage to your floors inside your home, but that doesn't mean you can just drop a rubber coated kettlebell. That could still cause some issues as well. So really don't wanna do that. <laughs> and let's be honest, these are kind of pricey, especially if you purchase more than one. So if budget is a problem for you, I get it. You know, there's some cheaper ones out there you can purchase. They probably won't last you as long. So, you know, be careful about that. Make sure, you know, you know what they're being made of before you go and buy it. You can also get yourself an adjustable kettlebell system, but those tend to cap out at a weight, you know, that doesn't come close to these. <laughs> and, you know, you can always add a kettle grip attachment to your dumbbells. You know, I said earlier, Rogue does have a kettle grip attachment you can buy, but the shape's not the same, so it might make some exercises a little bit awkward. All right, well, that's all I got for you today on the Rogue kettlebells. These could be the next solid addition to your home gym. The single piece of iron here, it's gonna make this super durable and you don't have to worry about the connection between the handle and the bell ever coming loose over time. So that's really nice for you there. The color-coded handle makes it super easy to choose which weight you're grabbing. And there's 18 different weight options for you to choose from. So it's really an option out there for everybody. And here it comes again, I told you it was coming. This flat base design right here is super nice in my opinion. Yeah, it makes it very stable whenever you go to store it. But, you know, storage is made super easy because of that, even without a storage rack. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video was helpful and that I was able to teach you a little bit more about these kettlebells and what they have to offer. As always, stay on the lookout for my next review. But in the meantime, head over to barbend.com. You can read more about these kettlebells. Just search Barbend Rogue Kettlebell Review. You can read everything I talked about here today. I'll see y'all next time.